Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. We're jumping right on into it. Really excited about this video. I'm over here in Muskegon Heights, Michigan. Check this out. Snow power. Does this look like a familiar face or what? Hi guys. This is Rick over here and you guys know Rick from Hurricane. How you been brother? Oh, it's been good. This Living is, the dream. This is so reminiscent. Last time I was here was 2017. Yeah. It's been five years, folks. So five years. Uh, we're actually over here picking up our snow power uh, F14. Super excited about that. Stay tuned. We're going to go uh, link up with uh, Rick's son, Bryson. He's at the other facility. Uh, but really quick, man, get these guys up to speed. It's been five years. What, what the heck is going on here? Look at the paint. You guys remember that wall last time? It was red. So what's going on? Yeah, it was red with Hurricane and uh, Brig and Stratton came in and they just loved the blower. So they took it in 2018. It was hard to sell it, but because we had some uh, other things in the works, i.e. snow things, we got the back blade and that ended up going to Boss with the licensing and now we have the front plow. And there's two patents on it. It's just incredible, and that's what I like to come up with, with things that no one's ever done and, and the productivity of it. Amen to that. Want to do a little uh, shop tour? Because it's uh, a lot's changed since we were here last. Oh yeah, big time. We're doing all our own machining. We're uh, filling all of our hydraulic cylinders. It takes six hours of machining per plow with our two machining centers, our Mazak machining centers. Everything here is uh, done here with all the steel. We don't buy any of the steel elsewhere. That we just bring it in flat, cut it, form it, weld it. Only thing we really buy are the hydraulics and the hydraulic hoses. Our cylinders, you can pan over here. This is where we weld all the cylinders. There's nine cylinders per, uh, per plow. And wow. we do it all in-house because of the nitrogen. We wanted to make sure it was 100% right. right because it's a whole new technology. So Rick, talk to me about the nitrogen cylinders. What is that all about? Well, half of the cylinder is hydraulics and the other half is nitrogen. The reason we use nitrogen is it's a bigger molecule so you can contain that, uh, that air better through the seals. You might have, well here's one. This is our lift cylinder goes on the truck like this and this part is nitrogen and so it's on the back side of the cylinder and the ram's not here but the hydraulics would go here and that's how it pulls the plow up and then when you let the oil out the nitrogen goes on the back side and that's our patented down pressure okay it's always there it wow. follows the terrain it's pretty sweet yeah over here we're we're tacking up the main plow we have a real thick solid base that we that we mount it down to we tack it up and then after our master tacker, this is what we call the board room. It goes over to the weld room. And then uh, we also have the wingman over there that tacks up and welds the wings. Okay. It's wow. Pretty cool. And what size is this? Uh, this is the, looks like a center blade? This is the center section for a 14 footer and it's eight foot. The 12 footer would be a foot shorter. And that's how we get 12 foot, six foot center with three foot wings. And then what's the 14 foot? Eight foot center. So Wait. you have eight with the same identical wing. Okay. Welding all of this in house and building, you're, you're cutting, rolling, building, all of it. Yeah, we have two big rolls over there, each set up, one for the main board and one for the, the wing. Wow. Holy cow. This is wild, dude. This is wild. There's a lot to it. So yeah, over here is the wing. He packed that up so he's already welding it. And you're actually getting to see the first clip, Brian. Okay. This is the 14 wing with the new see-through Lexan that's going on the top. The wing's about three and a half inches taller on the 14 this year. Okay. So uh, you're pretty fortunate to get that. Latest and greatest, what can I say? Uh, can I jump in? Can I see yeah, that real quick? Sure. Look at this. Wow. All right, so this is actually kind of unique. So what's going on here? Well, new this year, no one that I know of does it. This is the headgear part for our plow this year. And this is where it would normally hook to your truck. Okay. Well, I came up with a way to bolt on different pieces. Now you can hook to a boss. Whoa. Bolt this piece on. 
And this is your Western and your Snow X. Okay. And I don't have the Fisher one right here, but we have it for Fisher. So like you and I were talking about, if you have a Fisher plow and you want to upgrade to a snow power, keep your iron, run some new wires, put our snow power on there, heaven forbid our plow breaks, but you would have your Fisher as a backup. Right. So if your whole fleet Fisher and you want to transition into snow power, buy two or three a year. Hook them up. All right, so as you guys can imagine, this is a lot of fun going on here. There's a lot of moving parts. Uh, I'm about to go link up with Rick's son, Bryson. He's at the other uh, warehouse. That's where we're gonna go get our snow power. Um, but really quick, I, before we just jump you know, over there, I, I did wanna say congratulations to all the success you guys have had. I mean, between Hurricane, uh, and all the different product lines that you guys keep coming out with, it is really cool to see somebody still innovating in the industry and somebody uh, changing the game manufacturing-wise. I mean, so can you tell them about the snow power story like in two minutes or less? Because, you know, there's the big name guys out there, don't get me wrong, but you guys are, are changing the game. You're trying to move the needle forward. I think that's really cool. Yeah, I'm doing, it's just a passion of mine. I always want to make things better. And I'm really doing it for the guys because I made my money with the with the hurricane and all these guys helped me with the hurricane and I just got a good group of guys. So we came up with the snow power. We're gonna keep it in-house. It's got a lot of cool stuff. Um, I stand me on my product just like I did with Hurricane. I think that's why Briggs wanted it so bad because they knew of the following. And you know what I really appreciate when I go out to the dealers and I tell them uh, about the snow power. They say, no, it's not snow power, it's Hurricane Rick. You know? yep, yep. It's kind of sad to lose my baby, but with snow power, we're up and coming. It's two years warranty. We've been beating on it for two years. Look on Instagram. We've been hitting manhole coverage. The poor truck took a beating and the plow kept plowing. There so you go, there you go. It's pretty bulletproof. So what we need to do is you need to say Brian if you're buying one, because I told Brian I really appreciate all he's been doing. We're good friends now. and. If you mention Brian, when you go to buy one, you're going to save 250 bucks off of the of um, the installation. installation. Awesome, and that'll help out. And that that's just for you guys to, you know, to appreciate Brian and and to get a little savings. Amen so. to that. All right, Rick. Well, uh, I, I got to be honest with you. I'm super excited. I got to get over to Bryson. Uh, we'll catch up with you in a little bit. But God bless you, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Right on. Thanks. All right, guys, so this is my informal transition. Who cares? I'm so pumped right now. I grabbed the camera. I said, Bryson, we're coming in hot. Heck yeah, we're coming in hot. Do you guys remember this guy? Last time was... Let me get the correct time. I know, you were like 16, 17. How old are you now? Uh, I'm 24. So you're like 19. But you were youngin', dude. You were, you were a lot smaller, Just dude. got out of high school. That's crazy, that's crazy. So you're running the business. Are yeah. you running the business or is the old man running the business? It's kind of half and half. I mean... A lot of like when the patent certainty comes in and just certainties come in in general, yep. I'm right there with them. Cool. Sometimes I talk more than them, sometimes he talks more than me. It's just all. I like it. Yeah. You're running uh, in together. I like it, man. By the way, big shout out to uh, Garrett Williams with uh, GMT yes. Outdoors. He's, awesome. He's the man. Uh, also, uh, Autopilot uh, MTs over yes. in Big Sky, Montana. Uh, those guys were literally the reason I decided to go with this plow. Yeah. I was telling Rick, I said, seeing Garrett with his. Uh, He's got a 12, though. Yes, he has a 12. But he might have something on order. But I don't want to get. That's what I hear. Maybe I don't know. I don't. I don't want to give Garrett's uh, thunder away. I was talking to Garrett just the other day. Mm -hmm. uh, but nonetheless, so that's why I'm over here picking this thing up because I believe in Rick. I believe in Bryson, and I saw the results yep. between those guys in Stanley's video. So guys, I watch YouTube just like you guys do to figure out what to buy next and what to build my business with. And so, any which way, uh, a lot of words to say. I'm excited to be here. Yeah. So. Give me a little rundown. What are we? What are we doing today? You want a little tour? And uh, I see you got some product on the uh, shelf over there. Oh yeah, we got products everywhere. So this is kind of our main assembly plant. So we're gonna walk through. Like this is just a door. Um, so all our product comes in and out of this door. So we'll back our big trailer in here. We'll load it up on each side. Usually the Tesla's not out of here, but yeah. Um, what are you guys doing over here? <laughs> we, we like to work on stuff around here. Yeah. That's kind of in the Tesla buying game at the moment. So he's been buying them. I've been fixing them. Um, one of them we pulled out the whole entire drive unit, replaced bearings in it. This one we dropped the battery, which got to drop it again. If I yeah. can seal it, get it all squared away, then this one will be good to go. Um, but you guys are like mechanically inclined wizards. You guys are yes. you guys are my wizards. Like yes. you built all of this stuff. Yes. It's even, wild. Even down to the assembly line. And so by the way, this was the old hurricane yes. plant. So you guys yes. can see the. Uh, 
what do we call this here, like the uh, conveyor system? Yeah, so assembly line, we had like 26 units on the line at any given time. Wow. So it became like Henry Ford back in the day. Literally. So he was dropping a Model T, like it was like eight or whatever, set crazy amount of seconds. We were dropping a hurricane every 30 minutes. Is that right? So. Good Lord. Wow, it's crazy. It's been five years, bro. Yeah, it's time flies. I know, wow. All right, so <laughs> this is year 14 here. So yes, yeah, so he's getting the big boy, the 14. Um, so. You're gonna have bus head gear 14 with our windows that are new this year for our 14s. Um, right there behind you is our 12. So we're just kind of stacking them up, waiting for some parts because you know the economy right now, you buy two things, it takes six months. Yep. It, it's terrible right now. Yep. So we've just been stacking up product. We still have um, some stock from our back blades, so we gotta you know build our cutting edges. So we do all this in house. They come in and you know nine foot sticks, cut them down, make them. So we got I don't know cylinders up there. We got transition plates, truck mounts, wings for our front blades. So it, it's kind of scattered. Yeah, but this is a small office, small operation. Yeah. You know, small team. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, you guys are changing the game with everything. Yes. What What is this over here? So over here, this is a twelve on the table. To get to this point here, it takes us about four man hours. Okay. So by the time we get it on, you know, the skid over there was just a main board and wing, it's four hours. Wow. So we're dropping a plow every four hours with one person. Wow. With Hurricane, we had 20 people between our two buildings and we're getting one every 30 minutes, but that's also 18 man hours. Okay. So these assemble so much faster. Wow. And it's. Show me one of the. Changers. Over here, this is something that was really cool is the six inch blade. Uh, your dad was telling me about this and uh, also oh. the type of steel you guys are using is way different. Oh, so our uh, active cutting edge here? Yeah, yeah. So yes, this will go up and down six inches to follow the terrain. So even if your wings are forward, you're gonna have like barely any um, of your cutting edge dropping and hitting the ground because of the rake angle. And then when the wings are back, you're gonna have a lot more because it has to go down because of how the truck sits. Yep. So no matter what, if the wings, you know, 25 degrees, 50 degrees, it doesn't matter. Your 100% blade is going to be touching the ground. And we use, I think it's AR 400. 500. 500, there yep. it is. Yep. Um, it's only 3 8 though. Okay. So it will wear a little bit faster, but at the end of the day, you're scraping payment every single time. Your blade will not lift at right. all. Wow. Depending so, on snow amount. Which will save you money on salting. Yes. And the client. Yes. Which is even better. Uh, for some of us, because <laughs> yeah, you know you get new concrete, and then they're like, "Oh, I don't want to, you know, salt this year," and stuff like that. So talk me, talk me through here. You don't have to get super technical or detail, but this is all the mounting hardware. This is the back end. This is the the the, the bones, right? So yes. So this headgear um, we just released this year. This is our universal coupler tower, and right now it has on it is the Boss adapter. Okay. So we're still making a little bit of changes. There's not much. So right now, this has Boss on it, but in a matter of five minutes, I could put Western on it. Wow. I could put Fisher on it. As you can see, Devin's holding here. This is our Western adapter. So one plow can go on all the major plow manufacturers. Your dad was just showing us this, but this is the finished product. Yes. So this is actually painted, powder coated, you know, Correct. cleaned up. Wow. So a matter of five minutes, give or take. Yeah. You know, four bolts. And that's cool because if, if you have a fisher and you want to get something like this, you can just swap it out. Yes. You don't need a whole new uh, mounting system. No. Nope. Wow. So this is called the headgear. I call it the tower, but you guys call it the headgear? Yeah. Okay. Coupler, tower, tower, anything you want to call it, we'll call it. Okay. It doesn't bother me a bit. So there you go. Let me go around here really quick. Uh, you can tell I'm nerding now. I, I, I want to know about my plot. You know, like I'm, yeah. I'm learning, you know, so I, and if something breaks down, I'm going to make sure that I'm fixing it or learning how to fix it. So. You want to do a little song and dance through here? Because this is, uh, we're going to get technical for about. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of hoses here, but there's also nine cylinders to this plow. Okay. So every single cylinder has hydraulic oil and nitrogen. It's called the neutralic system. Okay. So on this side, this is your cutting edge cylinder. When your plow goes down, you put it in float, it's your nitrogen that pushes the cutting edge down and it surprises that cushion and allows you to ride a good, you know, across the parking lot. Okay. So that's how it works on this cylinder. On our wing cylinder here, tucked in the corner here, traditionally a boss uses a spring to pull it back. Where we use nitrogen. This is more consistent, it's faster, and you don't have to worry about a spring potentially breaking in the middle of a storm. Okay. So hydraulic oil pushes it out, nitrogen pushes the wing back in. This is what we call our push cylinders on our push circuit. 
So this will give you your eight inches of cush. I know you posted that video hitting the manual cover. You can kind of see the plow come back. Yep. So it's absorbing that initial shock load. So you have that eight inches of push. It's literally riding on air the plow is when you're plowing. Wow. So you, there's no oil or anything. If you hit something, you're not gonna blow a hose. Okay. So your trip cylinders here, we do not have cutting edge trip. We have mainboard trip. So it's right here. Um, same thing, hydraulic system again oil on one side, nitrogen on the other. So this one, the nitrogen is pushing the cylinder. So when you hit something, it's more forgiving, it's more relaxed, it's not a sudden blow, it just lets go because the spring tighter you get and it snaps and it's it gets violent sometimes. Sure. So, and then we got our lift cylinder up here. We have our nitrogen, which is patented. We actually got the patent book not too long ago. Um, allows us to have our, um, in essence, down pressure. Um, so it keeps the constant pressure on the blade, i.e. the ground, and it gets you a beautiful scrape. It's I mean, to the pavement. It's, yeah. it's like an Arctic sectional, for example. Like, exactly. It just yes. cleans right down to the ground. That's something that I'm really looking forward to. And, and, it, and again, it translates to our customers keeping their parking lots clear and clean. Yes. Less of a salt bill, you know, necessarily. So that's pretty dope. Um, optional light bar, I, I noticed that. Yep, that comes standard. Standard? Standard. Oh. Even the snow deflector on the front comes standard. Fancy, fancy. So it's not upcharged. You're not trying to make, you know, extra dime off you. It, it comes standard. You're paying a premium price. You're going to get the premium options. Now, one thing I like, um, <clears throat> and you can maybe talk a little bit more about this, but I can still run my regular headlights. Yes. So that's different. Yes. So talk about that. So with our blade being lower, um, you your headlights will probably sit around this area and it'll yeah. go right over the blade So it's oh, you can actually see for a change right middle of winter. It, you can't see anything. It's dark sure it helps with you know snow being white, but you when Truck headlights are brighter than any you know LED light, light bar. Market. Yeah, or light bar just yeah. only you know Yeah, or like the little two uh, two lenses, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. which works it does the job, but I'm excited about having my actual like lights yes. light so uh, all right, man. We'll uh, we're gonna go let these guys uh, hook up everything. Uh, they got some wiring they got to do. We'll catch up with you guys here in just a quick second. All right, guys. Well, it is a little while later. They took a little bit of time to wire up the snow power. I'm super excited about this. Before we jump uh, into the whole snow power F14 reveal, you guys got to check out the podcast that I just got done recording with Rick. Uh, I think the guy literally almost made me cry at the end because it was such a crazy story about hurricane snow power building this company from nothing. Really good podcast. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Maybe check that out. All right, we're back over here with my man, Bryson. Yeah. So talk me through, bud. What do we got going on? So, oh man, there's so much to go. So, so we got 14 on the front. It's yep. huge. It looks beautiful on yeah. this truck. There you my go. Oh my word, it carries it so well. Oh man, I'll, you're you're gonna love it. <laughs> I'm already like, ooh, makes me want to get it forward. All right. And I like my Rams. <laughs> All right. So let's get to the controller. So this is our controller here. Um, so the power comes from Keon, so like your normal traditional plow. Um, so Keon power. So this one, right now it's in float. It's set up, as many of you would know, it kind of looks similar to the Boss. Right here you got your uh, light on the front there, so your big light bar. So you got, you know, obviously you're in float. Double tap puts you in float. Get it in hitch connection mode, you double tap plow. It will, right there, blue and red. So now our switch on the actual plow itself will work. So we'll actually go through and set up, or kind of show you how that works. Okay. So now before, you didn't have power to this switch, now you do, so be careful when you're in this vicinity, watch your feet. But to take the plow off, you can notice in these, on the wings here, you see these little kickstands. Yep. Now those are not shoes, they're not skis, you don't want to plow them. They're just simply to take the blade on and off because if you leave them up, take the plow off, it'll rock back onto the truck because of our active cutting edge. Okay. And have a good time getting it off. You need floor jack. <laughs> there you go. So we're gonna take this, pop it off. We're gonna go into the lowest hole it will go. So this one will be the second one down. So there's that side. So it takes a little bit to get this blade off. Of course. But it's not, it's not terrible. So this side again, we're gonna go in the same hole here. So it will be this one right here if I can get it in there. Always those sweet spots. There you go. So now, so now, lift to the plow, now it's loose, pull this out. Okay, so that pulls out. Yes. Oh. This side, pulls out. 
this rocks down. Disconnect, you have your power, your control wire, back out. Oh, we still got the same like uh, 13 pin to set up in the... So we got a Deutsch. I know your buddy talked about it yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah. We love Deutsch here. So it's our standard boss plow here hookup okay. for your heavy power and then your Deutsch 13 pin. So it's just, we wanted it to be user friendly. So if something happens to this, mm -hmm. you don't have to go to a certain place and it's gotta be this and now it's hundred bucks. Okay. Versus this, you know, you can almost buy off of Amazon if I remember correctly. Okay, so, okay. I mean, we just, we want to be user friendly. We're not trying to nickel and dime you guys because at the end of the day, if you got to go to your dealer and spend 150 bucks versus 20 bucks, I'd rather you spend the 20 bucks and get you back on the road. Yep. You know, we're not sure it's nice, you know, make money, but it's not about the money. Right. You know, it's about user friendly. So, that, plug this back in. Good to go. So then, to, uh, you want to connect it back on? Oh, yeah. So, headgear's now up. I put it in hitch connection mode, but I should just be able to turn the pins. And we should lock. Once I break this, that's Whoa. So. That's cool. Yeah. Some days it's cool, some days it's, oh, I forgot to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Rock and roll. So then, lift it up. Jesus. Like the guys that run back blades, they're like, oh yeah, 16 feet. You know, it's pretty big for the back of a truck, but when you get um, into 14 feet on the front. Right. Oh, it's a game changer. Wow. And again, you can always just straight blade with an eight foot. Yeah, you could. Yep, if you need just a straight up plow and it take, does it, now does this articulate or just the wings? Just the wings. Okay. So, uh, uh, I mean, that's a lot of blade. That is insane. <laughs> it's so obnoxious. Wow. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so it's it's pretty big. Yeah. I mean, video probably won't do it justice. No, this thing is this thing is ridiculous in person. Wow. So that's transport mode, by the this way. Transport. So we still got some decent clearance. I mean, you got I don't know, good eight inches, ten inches. Yes. No different than what's on a V plow, you know. Let's hang yeah, off when them. you got your wingtips off the ground there. Right. So, but yeah, the, keep in mind, this is 1,250 pounds, you know, and we're still, we still got that clearance. And yeah. your radiator is 100% exposed. Yep. We rode all the way out to Montana with like 100 degree temperatures. Didn't face the truck at all. Wow. So, um, yeah, at least around here. Dang. All right, guys. Well, we are over and out from over here at Snow Power. Bryson, thanks for everything. No problem, man. You're, you're the man. Rick, thank you, sir. Woo. All right, I'm going to hit the road. I got a couple hour drive back home. I got to get back and see the family. We'll catch up with you guys. Right. <laughs>